Hi everyone, I thought I would do you a new little colour picker video. Um, I've shown you this before, but I wanted to, because I'm trying to do this, create this image for you, this template for you, filled in for each of the tutorials now. And then it will help you with your own colour selection at your own end if you haven't got the colours or if your printout or reference image is displaying differently to mine. So I've shown you this before using Paint 3D. This is just Microsoft Paint, um, which is available obviously on Windows. But you don't need to worry too much. What you're looking for is the colour picker tool. So up here in the tools section and the top bar here, you can see the little colour picker. If I hover over it, it will say colour picker. So pick a colour from the drawing and use it for drawing. Basically what you do is you pick a colour and then that turns your brush into this colour here. It's a colour one. If I ch to click on another area, it will change colour. So I have to grab the tool. <laughs> um, click here and you can see colour one change colour. So I've picked that colour and it then automatically turns whatever brush I've got into that colour. So before I get going, I just want to make sure I've got the right brush. So I've got the paint brush. And I want to just check what size I've got. It's quite small there. I want it to be bigger. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if I can make it any bigger again. No, that's the biggest I can make it. And that means that when I drag the line out, that is how big the line will be. And we need that line to be showing. So you need to get into the swing of this. So I've got my brush selected. So whenever I've used the colour picker, it will automatically then add that paint colour to that brush that's selected. So hit the colour picker come in here, literally click onto the piece of fur or you know whatever it is in the, in the um, reference image that you want to select the colour from, left clicked on your mouse or just you know make sure you've got the selection button down and then drag that out to a box and then we're going to come up and we want to fill that box so we fill it with colour. So hit the bucket, click in the box, and that will fill with the colour that you've dragged out. Now it's very important that you go back and hit brush before going back to that colour picker again, otherwise whatever colour you'll select. You can just, I'll show you, if we'd left it on bucket, then gone to our colour picker, it's great, you can come in, you can select a colour and then go to your box and fill it, but you won't have any correlation as to where you've dragged that colour from. That's why we don't just fill the box. We want to see where that, um, you can if you want, if you just want to select your pencils but you're not too worried about where they came from, but by doing it this way and using your brush and dragging outwards, you've got a real good um, foundation point to see where that colour actually sits within your image. So I'm going to collect, select that colour there now, it automatically switches back to my brush and then I'm going to drag that out to my next box up to my bucket and fill. Back and select my brush, hit my colour picker, uh, let's come in, there's a darker one there, let's drag that one out, so again slightly darker grey, hit the bucket and fill. Right, hit the brush again, what else are we looking for here? a hint of something goldeny kind of going on up there. Now I forgot to hit my colour picker. So there we go, colour picker. Select. It's got my brush. Let's drag that one down. Can you see the colours so that they're already slightly, you know, they're, they're changing. I've hit brush, hit the picker tool. Let's come in here. This is quite the lightest area that I can see in here. Let's drag that one out. And fill. There we go. So brush, picker. We should go brush, picker, bucket. Brush, picker, bucket. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister. So I've selected there quite an orangey colour. So let me fill that one. Bucket, brush, picker, dark, drag that one in, 
bucket. Brush picker. So we're getting quite a nice selection here on this side. I'm going to grab that one in there and just drag that one down. I think it's very similar to one we've already got over on the left hand side. But nice, it's a nice range. Can you, you can see them more clearly now. So I'm going to come over to the other side now. So brush picker. Let's come into that real darky area here and drag that one out. Let's fill. Yeah, that's really, really like this. See how dark brownie it is, like um, nougat, bistro kind of colour. So brush picker. Let's come in here and grab that one next to it. And they're all variations of a very similar colour, just different tones, like some are slightly pinkier. Very lot, lots of warm grey. So brush. Picker. Let's grab. Oh, it's ahead of myself then. It's what it's done is it's picked up the white. So let me undo that. Right, picker. My mouse pad is playing up a little bit. Let's grab that there. And fill. Brush. Picker. Let's come in here. Another dark area. You can see how this is working. Brush, picker. Um, that one there. You see, it's just a slight, slight difference. And if you want to, you can get into the whole thing of hex, um, hex colours, um, hashtag hex colours, and then see which of these, ma if any of these match up. So then you can you can use an, a colour from this side over on this side. Um, but this is literally a nice simple tool just to help you see <clears throat> what's going on where. Let's grab that one. Lines are a bit wibbly, a bit wibbly. Um, right, so brush picker. Let's grab that one. And again, these are quite similar to each other now. It's very similar to that one at the bottom. This one here. And I think, to be honest, we're pretty much there on all of the different ones inside of here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I'm going to go for that one. I can see it's the brightest area there. Drag that one down. But I think we've already got that one. There. So that gives you a real good look at, you know, what is showing up. There's no pure white there, really. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to squint my eyes. And see where is the brine. I think it's here again. We've already dragged out from here. So I'm going to drag it one more time. I'm going to pick from there. And I'm going to drag one more time. Yeah. It's just a cool grey. That's the lightest one I can see in there. Um, so we've pulled out pretty much you know, the, the darkest area. Up here and down here. Um... Pulled out the lightest area, we've pulled out the areas where we can see hints of the sort of almost like pinky, orangey colour in there. A real soft, soft, peachy colour. Slight pinkiness up in this colour here, on the top left. But that, that is what I want you to try and get if, you, if you're really struggling as a beginner to see your colours. Or even as more advanced if you're having an off day and you're thinking, I just can't see these colours well, you know, your eyes are tired. Just do this. You know, it takes five, five, ten minutes. It's well worth it. And then you've got that to refer back to um, when as you're working. And then obviously, you know, you can you pull your pencils in alongside and match them up really, really easily. OK, so I hope that helps. And we will get on with doing a little drawing, a little study of this section of white fur that obviously isn't quite as white as we'd like to think.